welcome back to the laundry room. Today we're gonna to have a look at how to fix your white shirts if they are starting to turn kind of yellowish. And we're gonna talk about why it happens and we're gonna show you how to fix it and then we'll talk a little bit about how you can prevent it in the future. So usually the main reason uh, why this happens is actually because uh, deodorant and your sweat start to mix and if you can see on your like white shirts Sometimes they start to get like a stain and then the stain gets bigger and bigger. Other common reasons why this happens is actually because of bleach, strangely enough. So if you have something like uh, chlorine based bleach like this one and you use it for washing, using too much of this can actually start to <laughs> turn them yellow as well. This is not such a big problem when you use something like uh, oxygen based bleach. This is actually what we're going to use to fix this uh, pesky problem in a moment here. So another reason why you might have uh, started to get some weird colors is from the washing process itself. If you have used too much uh, detergent, for example, uh, if you haven't washed it thoroughly enough, sometimes maybe it helps to do an extra rinse cycle. That can actually help with the color discoloration as well. Beyond that, it's usually either it's poor storage, maybe you have chemicals in your storage containers that have kind of um, sort to change color of the fabric. Also, did you actually know that when they make white shirts, they sometimes dye them to be whiter. So if the white starts to come off, um, you get yeah yellowish hue on your shirts. Anyway, enough uh, rambling about why it happens. Let me show you how to fix it. We will need two things. Uh, the first one is some kind of basin where you can place the shirt. Preferably, you will be able to lay it out flat. Now, I'm going to use the utility sink here. Uh, it's not the biggest one, but usually this size, this is fine. We just need to be able to spread the, the second thing that we're going to use uh, all over it. But if you don't have a utility sink or something like that, maybe you have some kind of tub you can use or, um, you know, a bathtub will be fine. Just be aware that you won't be able to use it for the next <laughs> seven hours or so. So if you need to take a bath, maybe do that first and uh, yeah. And the next thing we're going to need is some type of oxygen based bleach. I'm going to use Vanish. The most common brand is called OxyClean. There are a number of them out there. Just make sure that uh, yeah, it's oxygen placed. Now, if you don't have oxygen based bleach, you could also use hydrogen peroxide as it's kind of the same thing, really. I did a video on how I used uh, hydrogen peroxide mixed with um, baking soda to uh, remove some wine stains in the past. You can check that out if you're interested as well. If you have these things, you're pretty much covered. Now, one thing I would like to note is if you have hard water in your home, maybe you want to add a little bit of baking soda. I would say about one fourth the amount of uh, oxygen bleach that you're gonna use because you will find that the baking soda helps bind to like the, the minerals in your hard water. So it kind of soften it. Let's uh, get to it here. And uh, what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to take a quick look here at the label of the shirt. So it's very, very important that you check the label first. As you can see, this one says 40 degrees. So I'm going to use about 40 degrees heat of water. Usually I want to do it as hot as the garment allows. And uh, the next step obviously will be that we're also going to read the backside of the oxygen bleach just to make sure that it's uh, okay to use with the fabric that you have on your garment. Usually every type of uh, like everyday wear type of uh, fabric will handle this. Probably don't use the wool or like <laughs> something really delicate though. Let's fill up this basin with water. Checking the temperature here. It needs to be way hotter. Middle of the winter so obviously the water is really cold here. Yeah that's good. All right so making sure that it's all submerged. Now once it's fully submerged here what I am going to do is that I'm just going to go ahead and turn it off right away. Now I'm going to take my oxygen bleach here and I'm going to measure out a full spoon of it. So this is uh, the one that's made for like whites. So that's the most effective one. But if you just have like the normal type of like uh, oxy, what's it called, oxyclean or like vanish, that's fine as well. Anyway, I'm just gonna start sprinkling it all over the t-shirt here. Now, if you have some area that's like particularly stained uh, 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 or discolored, you may wanna put some extra oxygen bleach on there. Probably gonna need to wait up to, uh, let's say at least six hours, but maybe all the way up to eight. And uh, we'll come back and check on it uh, as the time goes. But just know that if you don't get it on the first try, you can do this like a couple of more times without causing any damage. So yeah, uh, I'll see you in a bit, I guess. Uh, yeah. 
Boom! Welcome back! It's been about six hours, almost seven I guess, and uh, let's have a look at the results from this face. As you can see here, against our control, completely new white shirt. Ta-da! Significantly more white. So, there is one more step that I want to show you since this is now full of oxygen bleach. Follow me over to the washing machine here and I'll show you what we do for step number dos. Alright, so welcome to the other side of the room. You were living here just now. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, so <laughs> what I like to do once I have done this is that I take the shirt and we are going to toss it in the washing machine. Now you can wash this along with other white clothes, of course. Maybe that's actually preferable. However, the next thing that we are going to do now is that we are going to load up with some uh, interesting stuff here. Vanish or what's it called? OxyClean. Not one, uh, yeah. Anyway, oxygen based bleach here. We are going to go ahead and we're going to measure up about a half spoon's worth of this stuff. And we are going to Pop it into the washing machine here. And let me tell you now that this is good enough if this is what you have on hand. But if you do have hard water, again, adding about one fourth uh, baking soda into the washing tray together with, uh, with your oxygen bleach uh, of choice. Also, whether you have hard or soft water, I do recommend that you pop in some uh, vinegar in the fabric softener uh, tray here. Now, I did a complete video on this in the past, but to put it shortly, let's say you put about two liquid ounces worth of uh, vinegar in there. And only liquid vinegar, don't mix in any fabric softener, we don't need that at all now. Once you've done that, we are going to close up the tray here, and we are going to remove the camera a little bit so we can close the door. <laughs> and from here, we are simply going to go ahead and we're gonna run a regular program here. One thing I do like to do after having used so much bleach is that I pop on a uh, extra rinse here. So that means that once the washing process here is done, we first go through the, the laundry detergent or the oxygen bleach here in our situation, and then we'll move on to the vinegar. And then once that cycle is done as well, pop one extra rinse cycle. So it's essentially just rinsing with pure water. And uh, after that, uh, I'll show you the results here. All right, so it's the next morning here. I got kind of tired of washing clothes yesterday. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> I've just hung it up here to dry now. And here is the, the original, the clean, the brand new white t-shirt. And dun 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 dun! This is the one that used to be all yellow. As you can see, I think it's uh, quite impressive, if I do say so myself. And here is, uh, by the way, the gray one that, uh, or the white one that turned gray. I think that turned out really nicely as well. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna link the video to the gray t-shirts, or the white t-shirts turning gray hair, if you're interested in checking that out once I've done, I'm done editing all this stuff. Uh, also, if you want more detail, remember I link uh, the article that I wrote like last year down in the description. There are some more tips there as well. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't get entirely white the first time that you do it. You can repeat the process, both this process and this process without any issues. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next time.